Hello YouTube, the Cloud Tech Guy here, Joe Holbrook. Looking forward to spending a few minutes just going through the Cloud Plus exam, my experience. Just a short few minutes, I didn't want to spend too much of your time. Just want to let you know that there's some resources out there for you to take a look at to study for the CompTIA Cloud Plus beta exam. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the exam itself. So over at the CompTIA uh, website, and the link is below in the description, is the exam information. So CompTIA had the previous version of CV0001, and now they have the beta, which is this uh, code here. Now, I, I took the exam a few days ago, and it was a, about 115 questions. I believe I got about 113. Uh, there was approximately five uh, case study questions or diagram-related questions where you needed to uh, essentially look at a diagram and try to determine what the solution is to the issues that they're having. Uh, it, they were pretty pretty challenging I would say and, and that is an improvement from the previous test. However the remaining of the questions uh, were fairly I, I think straightforward. I, I, I would like to say I didn't count it per se but I wouldn't be surprised if 35 or 40 percent of the questions were just on virtualization. So very virtualization heavy, a fair number of questions about how you could deploy services, uh, how you migrate virtual machines, areas around uh, basically the service models, the deployment models, uh, etc. Also to what type of components you can virtualize, what are the best practices, how do you scale, etc. So nothing unusual. You can certainly go and take a look at the exam objectives here. You'll see that it's broken down into four domains. And as far as the information, it, you know, again, it was fairly straightforward as far as what they tested you on. Nothing uh, that I would say was particularly, you know, difficult in the sense of studying for. But again, I really felt like I was taking a virtualization exam and not a cloud exam. That was just sort of my thought. But again, the cloud and virtualization go together. I just sort of felt um, they really didn't go too far into um, like cost analysis and areas like basically trying to understand how you would migrate from one system to another, at least at a, a little bit wider level than what they did. They talked about P to V, V to V. Those were definitely a few of those on the test. And then uh, there is definitely a few questions around basically appliances you could deploy, areas around definitely certificate management. And again, take a look at the objective and, and just double check that you have a good idea. Uh, definitely talked about SLAs a few times and I did notice that there were some questions uh, around uh, management as well of course. So monitoring was definitely tested uh, a few times like you may want to know SNMP, uh, know some of the ports as well. I would recommend you go out and make sure you know the DNS port Make sure you know SNMTP, uh, no ports also for like RDP. There is at least three questions on ports. So do know what those ports are. Troubleshooting, there is definitely, uh, I, I, you know, again, I don't know if it was 25% or 20. It was probably uh, somewhere around there, around troubleshooting from anything from migrations to licensing to uh, to, to basically a, a good amount of networking, to, to be honest. So like latency as, as well as um, uh, quality of service and DNS issues I saw. Uh, there was, uh, I didn't see really any questions on connectivity tools. 
other than one question that was asking you what command you would use to to basically troubleshoot uh, routing, for example. That was really um, about all that I, I saw, at least I remember. So uh, again, uh, uh, another thing too, actually I sort of like how they put in the acronyms here. I would highly recommend you know the acronyms as well because they definitely use the acronyms quite a bit. So acronyms, for example, that, that commonly people may not remember would be like around um, uh, host intrusion protection and host intrusion uh, prevention as well. So HIDS, HIPS. And then areas around uh, IQN, that was also, I've seen that a few times. And then also some other acronyms like, uh, uh, like for example, these, these areas, MTTR, RPO, RTO, for example, as well. So nothing, like I said, out of the ordinary. It wasn't, in my opinion, particularly difficult. I think the most difficult part was was just trying to get in the mood to, to go through um, the questions. Uh, a lot of the questions, I, I will say, felt like they were almost essay questions where they gave you sort of like a case study and, you know, ask you to sort of make a recommendation or solve the problem. So let's go over to some resources I want to share with you. Um, if you go over to, uh, for example, uh, udemy.com, uh, uh, there is a practice exam I just posted. The link is below. Feel free to take a look and take it. Um, there is a promotional link that is below, so please do take a look at that. And then also on my uh, YouTube station, I do have a couple of the Cloud Plus sessions that I do brief uh, as well. So anyways, I do hope that most of you who do take the test, if not all of you, of course, eventually that do take the test, do pass.